We've got more fighters coming in now. I'm going to auto-tag them since I don't really know where they are. We're going to make use of our auto-tag. I want to head to that, oh, that optional recon target. I want my tail gunner. I want my tail gunner using AP ammo on this advanced fighter. He's counting down to launching rockets at us. He's launching rockets. Hey, everybody. Cougar here with some more bomber crew. I'm loving this game. In the last video, we looked at the very first mission of the campaign, talked you through the getting started as a beginner. Today, what I want to do is jump ahead to um, some of the more advanced stuff that is available to you once you unlock crew skills and plane upgrades. If you look at the top of the screen here, campaign progress, you can see that I'm actually on the second to last critical mission of the campaign. We're not going to do the critical mission tonight because that is very challenging and I just want to walk through some of this basic stuff with you to begin with. I'm uh, going to jump down to the crew gear section. FYI, if you double click on these buttons, you don't have to go through that zoom in animation. It takes you right to where you're going. If you see my crew right now is set up for high altitude work. They've got thermal uh, uh, stuff equipped and uh, oxygen stuff equipped. But for this mission that I think we're going to be doing today, we don't need this thermal protection for high altitude work. We're, we're going to be working mostly at low altitude. So let me show you how to go through these presets here. Now, of course, you can set your guys up however you want. If you want to equip them individually from person to person, that's great. But you also have these presets set up by the developers that give you good options for every individual uh, role on your crew. So for example, here we have the pilot. If we click on advanced pilot set, now equip zero pounds because I've already bought this for him before. So we're gonna go ahead and equip that for my engineer. We go to the advanced engineer set, equip that, etc., etc. navigator, advanced navigator set. And this is basically selecting stuff that looks good cosmetically and also has good bonuses for your crew members. Uh, this is the radio operator. He's not going to be moving around too much, but if you give him the advanced radio operator set, he gets these cool head the headphones, etc. Let's go with that. Uh, for our gunners, we want the advanced gunner stuff that's going to give them a lot of protection. Next gunner, same thing. Bombardier, advanced bomb aimer set. This gives him moderate armor protection, but still gives him some mobility moving around the aircraft. Zoom over to the aircraft, and you can see that my plane is fairly well upgraded here. We've got Mark th four times Mark III ammos plus the ammo feed in the tail turret. The ammo feed in your tail turret is your top priority upgrade on this plane. Any kind of ammo feed, first thing you're going to unlock, obviously, is the Mark I plus ammo feed for the tail gunner. The tail gunner is the only one that can be equipped with an ammo feed. This is crucial to keeping your uh, tail gunner in his seat at all times, engaging targets as much as possible other stuff we're up to electrical system mark four this gives you more durability it will not fail as often and it will take more damage before it gets knocked out equipment we've got two slot equipment racks all over the plane we've got s racks in the rear mid rear mid front and front they are mostly equipped with first aid kits but i do have a couple of uh, fire extinguishers in there as well for the inevitable fires that will break out on your plane. Fuselage, um, up to um, armored fuselage on a lot of the sections of the plane. A lightweight fuselage to save weight. If I can call your attention down to the weight category in the lower left hand corner, you can see that weight is the most crucial part of upgrading your plane. You're going to need better engines to carry more weight. My engines are fully upgraded at Armored Engines Mark V. Now, Armored Engines do not give you quite as much of a weight uh, boost capability as regular engines, standard engines Mark V, but they do offer more protection, so I'm going with Armored Engine Mark V 
on every single engine. We've been through the equipment already, the fuselage already. Survival stuff I don't worry about too much. Uh, I guess that about covers it in the aircraft air section. Let's jump to the briefing. Again, if you double click on these buttons, you don't have to go through that scroll or zoom. Uh, Wing Commander Biggins is offering us four opportunities for missions here tonight. One of them is a critical mission. This one, the Starburst one here, is one of the critical missions. You may need to grind these regular missions a little bit before you take on those critical missions. They are very tough. This one is Operation Zeus. Uh, there's an enemy ace in the mission area, and you also have to bomb a defensive air base. But we're not going to do that tonight. What we want to do is this one over here is a medium duration, medium risk mission with an enemy ace in the mission area. Now quickly I'm going to go back to the main screen and check out our fighter aces. You can see that by the second mission, second to the last mission of the campaign, I have knocked out almost all of the enemy aces. I'd love to take out Kaiser Von Dusen before I take on that final critical mission or the second to last critical mission so let's see if we can bomb what we have here is a doodle bug blitz there are v1 rocket sites located along the coast we are going to have to take out some of those rocket sites and probably encounter an enemy ace so let's go ahead and do that begin the mission All right, so inside the plane, let's take a look at some of the advanced capabilities that we have now that our crew has leveled up a bit. F starting from the top, well, the pilot's not going to show you his maneuvers right now because we're still on the ground. The engineer has two options now in fuel mixture. Boost will give you a speed boost at the cost of burning more fuel. Lean allows you to burn less fuel, slows you down slightly, but extends your range significantly. You want to be using lean as much as you can. Uh, the navigator can now navigate by the stars once we get up to high altitude. The radio operator has three key abilities here. Radio for recon, call for spitfires, and auto tag. Radio recon, auto tag, call for spitfires. Radio for recon and call for spitfires both operate on a delay. Radio recon will show you hazards that are in your path. Uh, allows you to navigate around flak emplacements, radio in place, uh, radar emplacements, stuff like that. Call for Spitfires allows you to call in a flight of Spitfires to escort you. Very useful, but a very long cooldown. You'll probably only be able to use this once in a mission, maybe twice on a long mission. Auto tag, key feature, allows you allows your radio operator to tag incoming fighters for you. So if you need to concentrate on your bomb run, you can hit auto tag. This has a fairly quick uh, cooldown. So you'll be able to use that multiple times during a mission if you use it judiciously. Our gunners are now upgraded to allow them to focus. That improves their aim for a short period of time. Allows them to fire defensively. This sprays bullets everywhere but keeps fighters away from you. Different kinds of ammunition. Incendiary for taking out basic low-level fighters. AP armor-piercing ammo for taking out advanced fighters. HE ammo high explosive ammo for taking out basically anything that flies. Both of my gunners have now unlocked all these abilities. My bombardier is a little behind the curve. The high explosives ammo unlocks at level 12. I believe he's level 11 right now, so he'll unlock, un unlock that shortly. Before we take off, we're going to send all our gunners, as always, back for a resupply so they start the mission with three boxes of ammo instead of just two. You can see they're moving very slowly. That's because they are heavily armored. The gunners take the most amount of damage in a mission, so you want them with the highest armor even though it does slow them down. That makes this uh, pre-resupply uh, crucially important. Now that we're ready to take off, let's go ahead and do that. Switch to our engineer. Immediately go to lean. You can still take off, even on a lean mixture. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, get our nav, our waypoint set up before we even leave the ground. And now back to the pilot, raise our gear. Now you can see that his emergency maneuvers have un uh, are showing themselves now that we're off the ground. Emergency dive. 
that's pretty self-explanatory. Corkscrew will allow you to uh, evade incoming enemy fire and evade flak for targeted flak. That's not the random flak that you see at uh, low and medium altitudes. It's targeted stuff that operates. Uh, it shows you a red circle with a countdown timer. When you see that red circle with a countdown timer right in front of you, you're going to want to hit evade flak to evade, evade that stuff. For now, I don't anticipate encountering any fighters, any enemy fighters, until we reach the target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my nose gunner down into the bombardier position, get my engineer into that front seat, as long as there's nothing into the front guns, as long as there's nothing to, uh, to repair right now. You may not have noticed that as soon as he left the seat, the lean fuel mixture shut down. There's our first target. So lean, his abilities only work when he's in the seat. So as soon as he leaves the seat, you are no longer burning fuel at a lean mixture. Uh, since we've already got our target, let's go to our bombardier station. Let's open the bomb bay doors. We've got, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, we've got to destroy five sites, so we have to be fairly judicious with our bomb deployment here. There's a countdown going. That V1 is about to launch. We want to hit it before it launches. Got it. We've got enemy fighters coming in. Let's quickly select our next target so we get on that heading and then try to find the incoming enemy fighters and tag them. Let's save our auto tag for later in, in the mission when we really need it. As we're heading toward the next target, uh, we don't have that much time. Let's see if I can quickly call in some Spitfires and then switch to our bomb station, select the next stick of bombs. That V1 is probably gonna launch before we get there. Yep, it's launching right now and it's gone but we can still take out the site. It's not the end of the mission. Took out that second site. We should have another one coming soon. We've got more fighters coming in. Over here, let's tag that. That may be the ace, maybe not. No, it's not the ace. That's three regular enemy fighters. We've got another bombing target popping up here now. We've also got more enemy fighters inbound. Let's find them and tag them. That is a single. That may be our ace out there. Bombing target is still off our 12 o'clock. Let's select the next stick of bombs. Get ready to release. Our Spitfires are here. They're covering our tail right now. Good to know. Almost ready to release this next stick of bombs. Boom. Got it. Let's go to the fourth V1 site. Off here to our two and a half, three o'clock. Got more fighters inbound. Let's tag them ourselves. Save our auto tag for when we really need it. Our gunners are doing some damage. I'm not going to use their special abilities quite yet. I think I'm going to save their ammo, their special ammo for this ace who's right there, Kaiser Von Dusen. Coming up on our fourth target. That was a little late. Still worked. Got one target left. That's an optional bombing target. Let's not worry about that just yet. Let's try to make it to this last V1 site before it launches. Uh, the ace is taunting us. We've got a little bit of time before we hit that. Let's see if we can focus our gunners. Oh, our gunner is out of ammo already. He's reloading now. Back down to the bombardier. And that is our final target. And that target is down. Now we'll close our doors. Send our engineer back to his station. Send our bombardier back to the nose guns. Turn on all of our focus, incendiary, AP, all this good ammo stuff. We've got more fighters coming in now. I'm going to auto tag them since I don't really know where they are. We're going to make use of our auto tag. I want to head to that, oh, that optional recon target. I want my tail gunner. I want my tail gunner using AP ammo on this advanced fighter. He's counting down to launching rockets at us. 
He's launching rockets. Let's see if we can get our corkscrew going. Nope, our corkscrew was too late. We got hit. Our tail gunner is still doing some pretty good damage on that uh, ace. Let's switch to incendiary. And go to our navigator, mark a manual heading. This is an ability that unlocks uh, for your navigator. Where's that marker over there? Focus on that manual nav marker. We have some damage to our fuel tank off on the right side. If we go to our engineer, we can transfer fuel out of the leaking fuel tank into the still active fuel tank, the non-damaged fuel tank. Our dorsal gunner is out of ammo. We're going to hit R to resupply him. Uh, he's getting there. Now as we get back toward land, we should start to see that radio, that optional recon target showing up. We got more fighters inbound off to our... Oh, we took down the ace. That's great. We took down the final ace of the game. Now we can proceed through the final two critical missions without having to worry about aces. There's that optional recon target up ahead. We're gonna go to our bombardier, switch him back down into the bomb position, get ready to take a photograph. We're encountering some flak here. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, we've taken an intel photograph. I can move my bombardier back into the nose gun. I can get my engineer out on the wing trying to repair that injured fuel tank and now we can set our final nav marker back toward home we've got more enemy fighters inbound here but our highly trained gunners are making short work of these low-level fighters not having too much trouble there our freaking brave ass engineer out on the wing repairing that fuel tank that's all done you'll see my engineer is not heavily armored that means he can still move around fairly quickly we are already heading back toward base we might want to get up to medium altitude i'm going to go to my pilot head him up to medium altitude try to get out of some of this flak in fact if i can boost here if my navigator is back at his station i can boost us quickly up away from this flak. That's going to burn fuel, but I think we'll be okay because we're still fairly close to home. And we've got more, more fighters inbound. Wow. That was a lot of fighters. But as a, again, my highly trained gunners are making short work of these fighters. You see, we're up here at medium altitude. We're in the clouds now. Getting up in the clouds obviously makes it hard to navigate, but an advanced navigator can ignore the clouds for the most part and will still be able to get us on the right heading. Boost has recharged. If we go back to our radio operator, you'll see the call Spitfires has also recharged. We don't need it anymore. Our pilot needs a navigation upgate. Navigation, our but navigator is telling us that navigation is difficult through all this cloud, so we're going to select the pilot, get back down to low altitude. If we look at our map, we are probably over enemy territory. That is our landing strip right there, so we are very close to home. Flying over London right now, that's the Thames. In fact, we are so high up, let's do an emergency dive just to get down to low altitude. Quickly. There we go. And there is our home base. Our navigation marker is set. Our pilot is putting us on a good final leg. We were actually already set up fairly well. So now the next thing we're going to need to do is lower the gear. And we're on final approach. We'll lower the gear. So there you go. Another quick 
uh, mission. This one more advanced, making use of some of the more advanced capabilities that our crew has unlocked. And we're in good shape. We made it through that with very little damage and no casualties.